I'm going to give you some tips on reality shifting. I'm not going to give you any fluff. Uh, I think a lot of the videos about reality shifting have too much kind of small talk. Okay, so tip one, you don't need to hold anything back when you have reality shifted. You don't need to uh, avoid telling people. You can tell people you shifted. That's absolutely fine. It's not like in a lucid dream where if you tell people I'm lucid, it's going to collapse a dream. If you've already reality shifted, your consciousness is there. It's going to be quite hard to be pulled back to your current reality uh, because you have shifted your consciousness. The next one is that when you write your scripts, and they don't have to be paper scripts, by the way, they can just be a, an intention in your mind. But when you write them, they need to be pretty specific in terms of what will cause you to think about your desired reality. It doesn't matter how many pages you write or how much detail you go into. What matters is that when you read or think about your script, it causes you personally to think about your desired reality. The next one is that numbers can be a very powerful sign that you're either about to shift or you have already shifted. And specifically when I talk about numbers, I mean angel numbers, repeating numbers or patterns, which can be messages. And really they're kind of like bits of information that can travel between dimensions, so that can give you a hint that you're on the right path. Numerology is a pretty interesting thing. It kind of relates to astrology and astronomy as well. And what I would really encourage you to do is just to scroll down to the description and pause this video and just click on the link that says free numerology report. This will give you a free personalized video which explains your numbers and what things to look out for. And these can be a powerful sign that you have either reality shifted already or you're about to. Next tip is if you haven't learned how to reality shift already, watch my other videos just subscribe to this channel or just go and look at them. Next tip is you need to be meditating as often as you can realistically. Now, I want to say realistically because you don't need to be meditating an hour of every day, but you need to be doing at least five minutes a day, ideally twice. So five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening before you go to bed. This massively helps. It will raise your vibrations. You'll be more likely to lucid dream, more calm, less stressed, there's a whole host of benefits, but it makes reality shifting more likely because when you meditate, you take yourself out from your head controlled awareness and bring yourself into your knowing, your intuition, your heart chakra connected to other dimensions and your higher self. And you leave behind that ego driven, easy to manipulate left brained kind of thinking uh, that is always trying to manipulate and control what you do. So meditation, it's pretty good. The next step is don't try and do this every single night. Firstly, it's unlikely you will do it every night. So you're going to have a lot of nights where you fail. And then when you do fail, completely ignore it. This is what you should do. Just completely ignore it and pretend that it didn't happen. Only focus on and only remember the times when you came close or when you actually reality shifted. The next tip is you can mix up reality shifting methods, but you should give each one at least three or four nights to become truly effective. So give it a good chance. Scripts can be in any form, as long as you personally know exactly what it is you want in your desired reality. So even if you have written 10 pages, if it's not specific and it doesn't make you uh, kind of triggered into remembering exactly the feeling you want, it's not gonna work. In the same way, somebody could have a script the size of a post-it note, and if it gives them a strong trigger that makes them really think about what they want in, in their reality, that will be more effective than the 10 pages. It needs to trigger something for you personally. Next thing is that subliminals. And uh, when I say subliminals, like binaural beats tracks with kind of uh, audio or interlaced messages in them can really help you. And they actually can be used alongside most techniques and methods. I will be making and posting a subliminal track to this channel, so subscribe if you haven't already but they can be really effective. Another tip is to scroll down and leave a comment saying I will shift tonight or I am getting closer to shifting, I can reality shift. Affirmations are powerful. Don't skip this and just assume it's me trying to get comments on my video. It really does work. Even if you write them in a blank document or on your notepad on your phone, comment something saying I will reality shift, I can shift. It makes it more likely. And lastly, make sure to visualize the reality you want during the day. Visualize it as often as possible and it's more likely to happen.